new data released by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE, highlights the lack of cooperation from cities and states across the country. Emma from the Fact Check team joining us now. Thousands of detainer requests from ICE were simply denied by these cities and states. What consequences, if any, for not cooperating? So according to ICE, there aren't any legal consequences, but they said the cities and states who just refused to comply were facing the consequences of their own actions when these dangerous criminals are released back into their community and, and wreak havoc in some cases. Now, also in some cases, ICE has to reapprehend individuals after their release, which they say raises concerns about public safety and just resource allocation in general. How many illegal immig immigrants who have been convicted of crimes, how many of them are still in the U.S.? So we just got the numbers on that. So according to ICE, more than 660,000 criminal illegal immigrants are on ICE's national docket, which includes those who are detained by ICE and then also the ones that are on the agency's non-detained docket. So that number also includes around 15,000 illegal immigrants convicted of or charged with homicide, 20,000 with sexual assault, 100,000 with assault, 3,000 with kidnapping and 3,000 with sex trafficking. So I also want to note that it's important to, to say that these numbers span across decades. So that just hasn't mm -hmm. that hasn't just happened within the last few months. That's decades. They didn't give a specific number, but that's also just you know important to put things yeah. in context. Yeah, a good point, Emma. Yeah. Thank you. And for more on this fact -to team topic, including links to their sources, scan that QR code on your screen or visit thenationaldesk.com.